Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing well and in this video what I would like to talk about are free benefits to accessing couples therapy. So I've been a counsellor since 2009, I started off working with individuals and then I started to get quite a lot of inquiries from couples and I decided that it's an area that I would like to specialise in. I did some training, I've also done a lot of research, reading and I continue to build on my um, development within working with couples. And with couples therapy it is very much a matter of the counsellor remaining neutral, the counsellor being a part of the solution. So you're working as a team and that's what I always say to my clients, so I'm not taking individual sides, I'm working as a team with you as a couple to resolve the issues. So the first benefit of accessing couples therapy is that you will find out some strategies and approaches that can be of benefit to improving your relationship. The whole point of going to see a couples counsellor as opposed to just going to speak to your friends and family is that it's not going to be just someone that's saying, yeah, yeah, you're right, he's um, terrible as a partner or yeah, yeah, you know, when you are just moaning and complaining or you are just talking about the issue and someone is just agreeing with you or someone is just listening, that's one side to things. But what you really want is some sort of approach or strategy that you can use to improve the situation. That's the difference between what your counsellor is going to give you versus just sort of talking to friends and family. They're going to be biased towards you. So they're a lot of times not going to give you um, a neutral um, response. So getting strategies and approaches means that someone has then given you that information. You can go away, you can use that in your relationship and hopefully it will improve things. The second benefit of going to see a couples counsellor is that you look at your issue from a different perspective and your counsellor is there as a mediator between the two of you. When you're caught up as a couple in patterns of behaviour, whether that is the way that you argue with each other, whether that is just a lack of intimacy, whether whatever the issue is, you can get to a point where you're so stuck in it that you don't feel that you can objectively step back and look at how can we fix this. You don't feel like there's any way for it to improve. So when you go to see a couples counsellor, their role is to help you to look at things from a different perspective. They're looking at your issue, but from the outside. So the benefit with that is that you're sitting in this room, you're having the same interaction that you've had when you've been at home, but you have a third party there to explore it with you in a different way and to give you a different perspective. And the third reason is, this is what a lot of couples who've come to see me have said. You recognize your patterns when you're in the therapy room. So if you behave in a particular way towards each other when you're at home, you tend to not see it in that way until, so it's similar to what I've said about perspective, but it's different because for example, a counsellor will pick up on things like your body language. A counsellor will pick up on things like if you've used certain words. You'll, uh, people will say to me, some couples will say, I've never heard him say that before, or I didn't know she was feeling that way, or this is what we're like when we're at home, this is how we argue. So the key thing is the strategies and approaches is the first thing. The second thing is recognizing that you have a person there who's on your side, you're working as a team to resolve the issues. And the third thing is to look at your patterns. Maybe when you're in the counselling room, you're completely different to how you are at home. So you could explore that. You could say, when we're in the counselling room, where he speaks to me differently, or when, we're, um, when we communicate, when we'll be the therapist, that's different to when we go at home. So it's about having reflection, having space to recognise that. The whole point of couples therapy is for you to identify the issue, for you to work on the issue in the therapy, and then to work on the issue outside of therapy and hopefully have progress and get to a point where you improve the issue. So there's some of the benefits. It's never, it's always worth sometimes, if you're not sure about couples therapy, reach out to a counsellor, ask them if you can have one session together as a couple, because I do this sometimes, and then decide from there or if you say you want to commit to three sessions or six sessions, do that. But don't ever feel fearful of accessing therapy because you feel it might make things worse. That's a common um, feeling that people have, individual or couples therapy. It's just gonna make things work, work. Sorry, it's gonna make things worse. It's not gonna work. Um, what's the point in talking about the issue? We're just gonna feel worse. But 
but until you try it you won't know so i hope you found this video useful if you have please feel free to leave your comments below please feel free to like to share and to subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed the video thanks for watching everyone see you soon bye